Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing an updated hair care routine. But before we begin talking about my hair, I just kind of want to address why this is Vlogmas 11 and 10. Um, so basically I had planned to upload yesterday and I had a whole video planned out and everything, but unfortunately life happens sometimes and things just don't go as planned, you know? And that's okay. So I apologize, but um, I'm just gonna go ahead and call this Vlogmas day 11 and 12, just so we don't get confused confused and I don't really like have a day skipped on my channel, but we're back on schedule. So don't you even worry. But yes, today I want to get into my hair care routine. Um, I've made a couple of these videos on my channel already. I think my last one I made was like around quarantine, maybe during quarantine, beginning of quarantine. I don't remember it at all meshes together at this point. When I did film it, my hair I think you guys, if I can find a picture, I'm going to leave the picture right here of how my hair looked versus how it is now. Um, I just thought it would be kind of fun to make another video and update you guys on how my hair is doing it now. So with that being said, don't forget to hashtag it with it, subscribe down below. I am doing Vlogmas, so I'm uploading every day in December crazy but yeah we're having a good time here so you guys should stick around and let's go ahead and talk about this crazy mess right here all right Okay, so basically if you're new to my channel and you're just now watching this video, you should leave this video, go watch this video real quick of my hair care routine back when I was in quarantine and then come back and watch this updated one because I feel like it would just make a lot more sense. Um, my hair has been through it, through it. Let me just tell you that right now. I have been every color of the rainbow, <laughs> not necessarily, but like it feels like that. Um, and basically two years ago, my hair was up to here. And that's not even a joke here. <laughs> yeah, I also have had extensions in my head. Not good. So basically, I stopped coloring my hair overall and I have just let it go. Um, and it has really worked wonders for me, you guys. So I think my last video, I left you guys with some tips and I just kind of want to go over what I have been doing and if I've changed anything. I know I talked about all the shampoos and stuff that I used and I am still currently using Lange shampoos. I absolutely love all their shampoos, their conditioners. I really think it has helped my hair a whole bunch with growing. I don't know what's in them. There's something secretive about it. I just don't just kidding but no they're really awesome you guys should check them out so basically first things first I stopped bleaching my hair so basically I was beach blonde we don't know who she is we don't know her if you knew her no you didn't that just helped a whole bunch you guys bleaching your hair is so bad for your hair stop doing it if your hair is damaged already and you just keep bleaching it it's it's not gonna get healthy it's never going to be healthy so you want to give your hair a little bit of a break I highly 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 recommend you do that that's what I had to do I'm embracing the dark side I can actually 100% guarantee I will never go back blonde. So don't be expecting that from me. Sorry. The next thing I have done, obviously, is try my best to not put a lot of heat on it. I talked a little bit more about that in my last video about not putting heat on your hair and how much you should like be washing your hair and stuff. Obviously, it's different for everyone. Everybody has different hair types um, and everybody's scalps are different. Um, some people have to wash their hair every day, which is totally understandable, but um, you just don't want to strip away all those natural oils from your scalp because they are actually really good for your hair. So just try your hardest not to wash your hair every day. For me personally, I go once every four days, probably four to five days. I try the first day. Obviously, it's straight and fun fact about me, you guys. I do have naturally curly hair. What? <laughs> I do. It's crazy. And now since I've worn my hair curly and I actually curl it a lot with a straightener. I do have a video on that too. <laughs> plug, plug, plug. I never wear my hair straight anymore. It's just flat. It's boring to me. So this is what I usually do. I will have my hair straight for the first day that I wash it because with my curly hair, it's just easier to style that way. So I just always straighten it first. And then like the next couple of days, I will have it curled. And then next couple days after that, I will probably have it in a bun or a cute ponytail, like a high ponytail with like my long pony extension. That can be a fun way to jazz it up. Um, Dutch braids, I do a lot. Oh, even like adding a cute little scarf in your hair because if your hair is greasy, girl, it's a good way to cover it up, okay? I'm just a little secret there for you. Get a cute little scarf. Let me show you mine. Looks like this. It's super cute. It reminds me of like um, a Gucci print. Is that Gucci or is that Louis Vuitton? 
clearly I don't know my shit. So I did get that at H&M, you guys. They have a whole bunch and it's a super cute way to like jazz up your hair a little bit on days you don't want to wash it. Also wearing hats. I wear hats all the time. What the hell, man? I wake up at five every morning for work. Of course I'm gonna put a hat on. So that's an easy way too, but um, honestly, not putting heat on your hair is the way to go. So if you have pretty natural hair, girl, embrace that shit. Embrace it. And trust me, I get it's easier said than done because I have naturally curly hair. That's probably my best friend right now. But anywho, she is the one who tells me every damn day, wear your hair curly, wear your hair curly, wear your hair natural. Just do it natural. It's so cute. It's so sexy. But sometimes when I wear it that way, I just don't feel myself. Is that like weird? Does anybody else get that way or is it just me? I don't really know. I have been learning to embrace it, and I think I've said that in that past video as well. Um, I'm still learning, but I've done a really good job, I think. The longest I've gone without um, putting heat on my hair, I believe, was a month. So that was really fun. That would be kind of a cool video, huh? If I, like, documented me not putting heat on my hair for a whole month and showed you guys, like, how much my hair has grown. Huh. That would be... That would be kind of cool. If I am wearing my hair natural, I use Lange mousse, and I absolutely love that mousse because it doesn't make my hair all crunchy and gross feeling. If you guys go back to that video and watch, if I do have clips, which I don't think I have any clips, so definitely go check out that video. I'm gonna leave it linked up here again, and it will also be in the bottom description, description box, so you guys can go check it out as well. But there is a huge difference between my hair back then and my hair now. It's crazy to me even looking at it. I really hope this lining is okay. You can see like how much healthier my layers are. I hope you can tell. I don't really know. My layers are finally growing out. Um, like I said, a year ago, my hair was literally up to here. You guys want to know how long I want it? Let me show you. I'm thinking like, I think like to here is a good length. Like I know what it's like in life to have short hair, you know? So I feel like I need to know what it's like in life to have long hair without extensions. I don't know. For any of you girls out there who have frizzy hair, curly hair, coarse hair, this product is so, so good to help your hair not like get frizzy throughout the day. Cause you know, you have super frizzy hair and you go to straighten it in like two seconds, it's gonna be frizzy again. And it's gonna look like you had no freaking clue what you were doing with the straightener, right? Been there, done that, I hate that look. So I actually found this guy. This is the Kenra Silkening Gloss. Put a little bit of that on your fingertips, girl. Rub that all into your hands. Put it in the ends of your hair and just really work it in there. <sighs> She's gonna be shining like a summer day. Let me tell you, we love this. And it makes your hair so soft. Like my hair is softer than this baby's butt right now. It really is. I've had two copies today. I did tell you guys also in my last video that I was taking those Chewies. I believe they were the Ollie ones at the time, which those are still awesome. Any kind of vitamin that you can take that has biotin in it, you absolutely want to be doing that. Anything for hair, skin, and nails um, is really, really good to be taking. I just kind of like get whatever I can at the store, honestly. Sometimes I'll switch back and forth. Sometimes I get the Ollie ones. Sometimes I get this brand, but I'm still popping them daily like they're fruit snacks. I have not Googled if that's good for you or not. Probably not. Probably wouldn't recommend it. I mean, I'm doing something right, right? <laughs> no, but for real, I think I take like maybe two a day. And sometimes I forget if I take them in the morning. So I will take two again at night, maybe. Uh, yeah, sometimes. Um, But they just taste so good. Make sure you're using a heat protectant. Um, Mine is also the Kenra Blow Dry Spray. I absolutely love that one. It doesn't leave my hair feeling any gross type of way. It's just super lightweight. Um, So I will put that on before I blow dry my hair. And then you can also get one as well when you're styling it with like hot tools. Unfortunately though, I do not have one at the moment. Oh, tsk, tsk. I know. We're gonna have to change that, aren't we? Yes. Another big important thing that I have been doing to keep my hair healthy is getting haircuts on a regular basis. And I know a lot of people misunderstand how that's supposed to work, but basically for your hair to be healthy, you're going to want to get a haircut every month to every two months. I know that sounds excessive, but it's so true. And let me tell you why. So split ends, right? You know what split ends are? Your ends, they split yeah, it's crazy, I know. You know, you're putting it in a ponytail, you get split ends. You sleep on your pillow, get split ends. Also, get a silk pillowcase. It's so good for your skin, for your hair. Do that. That's what I do. That's what you should do, too. So try that out. That's how my brain works. It's just... Split ends. Yes. Some girls think that they just don't want to get their hair cut for, like, a good year because they think it won't grow if you get it cut, which is... False. I'm here to tell you that is false, my friend. Basically, what split ends do, you see, split ends. They split 
and from the end up they split so let's say you go six months without getting your haircut and your hair grows a half an inch every month so basically when you go to get your haircut your split ends for those six months are just splitting up higher and higher the more you don't get your hair cut and guess what your hairstylist is going to tell you babe you want to trim well i'm about to take off all your dead ends guess how much that's going to be like two inches probably yeah, it's, it's a really big deal, and you don't want that to happen to you. Just get a little trim every month, every two months. Um, I've been trying to go every two months because I feel like a month is a little excessive. Could be wrong. But getting regular trims helps a ton. Try that out. Try to not put heat on your hair. If you can, try not to wash your hair every single day. I know it's hard for some. Like I said, don't come for me. And take your vitamins. So I'm pretty happy with where my hair is at right now um i'm really excited to see where it is going to be in another six months i'll probably come back and do an updated hair care routine and let you guys in on any tea that i come up with for any secrets that i have because i do have some tricks up my sleeve you never know i hope some of these tips help you if you have tips of your own leave them in the comments down below i'd love to get some extra tips and i'm sure a lot of other people would love to know what you're doing as well that's all the tips i have for you guys today don't forget to hashtag get with it subscribe down below join the whip fam i would love to have you here um like i said i'm posting every day in december because it is a vlogmas so stay tuned for that we have a fun time here and with that being said i will see you guys tomorrow bye guys